What's up, where's your boy Iconic? Back again with another video. Yes, sir, we are back in the Iconic Studios. Back with another banger. Back with an unboxing. Uh, this purchase specifically was not supposed to happen, but it happened. But before we get inside this unboxing, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the own feast, the sneaker vlog, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching. Not gonna waste any more time. Let's get into it. Boom, package here. Directly from eBay, man. I might not sound so excited, right? Because I high key, and I mean this, high key didn't need this shoe at all, right? I didn't need the shoe at all. I didn't need the shoe at all. But I was trying to finesse some things online and got caught up and purchased it. But let's go ahead and open up the box, man. You already know, I've been rocking with eBay a lot lately, man. I haven't been really copying from Gold or StockX. Love their authentication team. Um, they are a mixture of the, what is it, SneakerCon app. I think the SneakerCon app has been sold to eBay directly. So people, Excuse me for all the extra noise. People that shopped with eBay and cop shoes, you will get your shoes authenticated through eBay. So here's the box, man. Most of the shoes y'all been seeing me unbox have been directly from eBay. This one right here is a box with a Jordan uh, box top. <laughs> The old school Jordan box top, which is like 2012, 2013. I believe that's when these shoes came out. But black and white box, let's go ahead and take this out of the box. If you know anything about the authentication, they always send you this card right here. Nothing too crazy. Boom, boom, boom. You see that? Get that out of the way, because we don't need that. Boom. Black and white box. Uh-oh. Almost thought. Almost thought Jordan had a, <laughs> all right, but anyway, look, they got some sticker on the box or something. Anyway, box label on this joint reads, uh, Air Jordan 7 Retro Colorway Black TR, which I believe is true, um, and then RD, which is red, Dark Charcoal, CLB Purple, Nor, Roviv, Shan, and Violet. Sorry if I butchered any of those words. Original retail on this joint was 160. Wow. Back in 2012, we was getting shoes for 160, uh, 170, 150. Hopefully that focus. Let's see if that focus. We was getting shoes for like 160, bro. Look at that box label. 160. That's what a nice retro Jordan 7 was going for at that time. Um, at the side, you do have like a little thumbprint. I thought that was a dope little touch, but other than that, this box pretty much sucked. But a lot of heat came in this box back then. So I'm gonna flip the lid, not gonna waste any time at all. And yeah, boom. We have it here, the Air Jordan 7 Raptor, or in my opinion, after being schooled on knowledge, the Charcoal 7. Now, if you don't know by now, you got to get a lesson, right? When Jordan wore these, which he won a ring in, <laughs> Jordan wore these, um, in the game series with the Blazers, Trailblazers, right? Went crazy. When I mean three after three after three after three in that game, this is what he was wearing. At that time, which I believe is like the 92-93 season, don't quote me on that, 92-93 season, the Raptors wasn't even created as a team yet, bro. It wasn't even presented as a team yet. So this shoe, we would consider the charcoal Air Jordan 7, or just the Air Jordan 7, nicknamed nowadays the Raptor 7 um, because of the color blocking. Um, I was always wondering why they called this the Raptor 7 because I don't remember any type of tie to the sneaker that would call it the Raptors. Um, I just thought it was a dope colorway. And, um, you know, we just called it the Raptors because of that. But yeah, man, this shoe right here, I grabbed this joint for like two, maybe like 220. So the original price was 160. And as y'all can see from the condition, it is A1 steak sauce. Just kind of looking at it, inspecting the shoe myself. In person, I mean, on the, on the screen, right? It looks like a faded black, bro. But in person, my opinion, 
the black is way, way darker. So make sure that's focusing up. Yeah, on screen, on this screen right here, it looks like it's like a faded when the black is, uh, hold on. Come on, focus. All right, so, <laughs> you trying to read my face. So, on camera, it looks like it's uh, like a faded black, but in person, like right now in real time while I'm looking at it, it is an actual darker black. Um, quick review, man. You already know, tribal bottom right here at the bottom, which makes this shoe so popular when it comes to the Air Jordan 7. Uh, you do have your red hits, a hit of like that gold, black, what else? Purple for sure, and then your other hit of true red. You do have a red jump man right here. Go to the back right here, man. It does say 23. I just recently learned back in maybe, maybe two years ago, bro. Maybe a year ago, not 100% sure, that this little patch right here is supposed to be a seven. So um, I thought that, man, focus, man. This little patch right here is supposed to be a seven. So I thought that was a super, super dope touch that I never had known. And you learn something new every day when it comes to these retros. Got that eBay tag right there on the back, man. Shout out to eBay. Wish they would sponsor a video for me or something, man. But I haven't got there yet. I will, I will one day, but I haven't got there yet. So yeah, man, you have the Air Jordan 7 Raptor. Midsole is mostly black. Right here, you do have your purple and red. Mountain Peaks, um, very nice touch. Red Jumpman right here, right here on the front. You do have your design, your Jordan in red uh, with the tra uh, charcoal. Yeah, with the charcoal seven or the Raptor seven. Um, you do have your gray and black hit on the tongue. Not really all those colors like the Bordeaux or the hair seven. Um, matter of fact, while we're here, I'm gonna bring the DMP sevens out to kind of show a comparison of it. Just to kind of let y'all know like the shape and the colors and uh, kind of show off that difference that um, a lot of people would say they either choose these or would choose the DMP six, uh, DMP seven. Boom, DMP sevens right here, man. I did an on feed of this shoe a while back. Um, or Raptor seven. Uh, whatever you want to call it, man. Whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, 1993. So that was 1993 season. Crazy. So this one specifically came out in 09. Old, old, old shoe, right? Old shoe. But people, some people prefer this over this. Um, I personally still like this a lot. It's just having that true OG is definitely like something that has to be in the collection. So when you're looking at this right here, this is the OG color blocking. As far as like shape, the shape was still weird on these two, man. I, I don't know. That's why I say in this this specific shoe right here, it's not a bad shoe. This was like a weird, weird shape, man. Weird shape. I wish they bought back that shape. Because to me, when I'm seeing the DNP7 right here, um, the shape is totally different in my opinion, right? When you look at it. For some reason, it seems like this one is higher up with the tongue. But the slope from that 09 version is just weird. It like goes down and slopes down. I don't know. It kind of, I don't know. Hopefully some of y'all get what I'm saying. Some people that have sevens from back in the day understand. But the sevens that came out after like 09, they was all weird shape. Including like the Olympic sevens and um, the hair. I think the hair sevens and the Bordeaux seven that came out in like 2013, 2014 maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. But um, those had like a more true shape to the OG, but this shape is still kind of weird. Um, if they drop, which I, that's why I said I didn't need this, because the rumors were that we were supposed to get this this year. So if they drop this, I'm de definitely gonna pass because this shoe right here just it looks it looks dead stock. Like I said, on camera it may look like faded black, but it looks dead stock in person, bro. No cap. God still had. These that's in there. And you know he's a real sneakerhead when I bought off eBay. Most of his stuff looked like real stacked up and neat, like a sneakerhead. So I think, I think personally, personally, I think uh there's no need for the actual newer version if it does drop. Um again, nothing too crazy, man. It's an Air Jordan 7. Y'all don't really like Air Jordan 7s at all, man. Just to be 100 percent with y'all, man. People want rocking with them sevens. Y'all y'all don't deserve citrus sevens because y'all don't rock with sevens. But um, I do, <laughs> I do like the fact that um, they did 
re-released re this in 2012. Um, hopefully they bring us like, give us like Cardinals or something. Cause I definitely would like a Cardinal seven over a Raptor seven. Seeing that we just got this not too long ago. Um, this did release in 2012, like I said, 2012. And um, most of the thing, I think one of the biggest things that I hate that I hate about the Raptor 7 from 2012 is the fact, for one, they gave us these like shoe strings. Shoe strings is weird on this. So you see how like on the DMPs, you got them flat laces and then you got these, I don't know what y'all call them laces. Y'all let me know what y'all call these laces. But we ended up getting um, these laces on the, the 2012 version and I wasn't really a big fan at all. So again, man, nice little throwback Thursday pickup, man. I. I didn't even mean to get these, bro. It, I, I just fumbled. I fumbled, ended up buying this shoe. I didn't need the shoe. I fumbled a pack. I fumbled a pack for sure, but I'm not regretting it either because now this almost completes my Air Jordan 7 pack. I have the Raptors or Charcoals, Olympic 7s, Hair 7s, and Bordeaux. I have the Bordeaux from 2011 and 2015, 2016, and um, you know, I'm not tripping. This is not like a bad thing. It's in my collection. And I'm glad I actually have it, man. But I always rocked with this one. I always thought the DMP7 was like one of the better sevens because it kind of gave that same layout of the 2011 Bordeaux. So when I saw this, I was like, whoa, like, I knew I always wanted these, but having these definitely made me want to get the Bordeaux sevens because it gave that same kind of feel, but different color blocking. And some people may say they like this one over this one i personally do like this one over this one but it's just something by that og color blocking og layout um that always gets me again man i believe jordan won his what second ring no he won his third ring right one two was the first ring first ring was the sixes second ring was the sevens Third ring was the eights. Yep. Dang, boy. Your, your boy know a little son. Your boy know a little son. Give me a little credit. A little, little bit of Jordan knowledge. But yeah, man. Jordan won his second ring in this joint right here. And I believe it was against the uh, um, Port Portland Trailblazers. I think that's what you say. But Trail the Blazers, Blazers for sure. He kicked their ass. Clyde Drexler. Again, he kept him, him, him with the threes, man. Like, crazy, crazy, man. But... Thank y'all for watching, man. I ain't gonna keep y'all here all day, man. Sorry for the terrible lighting. Uh, it is kind of like a rainy, muggy day. So the lighting in the room looks terrible. I was not plugging up my, um, I wasn't plugging up my, my lights at all. So y'all gotta get what y'all gonna get. I'm working on the computer today, but this came in for FedEx. Had to give y'all the review, man. But yeah, man, that is it. Before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feats, sneaker vlog, and sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. Thank y'all for watching, man. The future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Peace.